praise God, children. Wow, this is another day that God has given us to listen to his word. And I'm glad that you are all listening to me. And I know God will bless us. So before we start our lesson, I would like us to say a word of prayer. So let us close our eyes and pray. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, Father, because of the gift of life. Thank you, Lord. Before we start our lesson, we ask you to be together with us, Lord to see us through, to give us your Holy Spirit to lead us so that we can understand everything that we are going to be taught. And we pray this trust in Jesus' name. Amen. So praise God, children, again. My name is Teacher Sophie. I'm born again. I love Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. And today I'm happy to teach you. And I know that through this lesson we are going to be blessed. So last time, I don't know if we can remember what we learned, but I can remind you, we learned about the Holy Spirit and we learned that all of us, we, God has given us the Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit help us to have power to do so many things. And also the Holy Spirit help us to stand firm, not to fear anything. So when we are praying, we should always ask God to give us the Holy Spirit because when we have the Holy Spirit, we don't fear anything. And when we have the Holy Spirit, we can also be able to pray. And through the Holy Spirit, God always bless us. So today, I don't want us to learn about the Holy Spirit, but I want us to learn about another topic. And our topic today is how to stir up our gifts how to stir up your gifts. So all of us, uh, we have gifts. Nobody who doesn't have gifts. All of us, God has given us various gifts. So before we continue, I would like us to discuss what are gifts. I don't know if you know what are gifts. Gift is something that you are given freely. Something that you are given without being charged anything, without being asked money for. For example, when maybe your parent, your teacher, your friend, your uncle goes maybe to the shop or somewhere and brings for you something nice, or maybe you are told when you do something good, you'll be given, you'll be given a gift. So you are not charged anything for the gift. Then what is to start up? To start up is to have the desire to do something. And the desire comes from our heart. So we are being told that we should start up the gift. So God has given us different gifts so that we can be able to serve him. So before we continue, I want us to go to the Bible in the book of uh, 2 Timothy 1, uh, 2 Timothy 1, 6 to 7. The Bible says, For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you, through the laying on of my hands, for the spirit God, God gave us does not make us timid, but give us power, love, and self-discipline. Again, I want us to, to go back to verse 7. It says, for the spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but give us power, love, and self-discipline. So when we look at the Bible, the Bible is telling us, that God has given us his, he has given us the gift, the gift of not fearing anything. And the Bible continues to tell us that he has, God has not given us a spirit of fear. So we should not fear anything because the, the Holy Spirit that he has given us is not the spirit of fear. Then he has, the Bible continues to say that he has given us the spirit of power. When you have power, you can do anything. When you have power, you're not supposed to fear anything. For example, when you're in your school and you're being taught, you're not supposed to fear that, oh, am I going to perform well? Because God is telling us that he has given this, he has given us power to overcome everything. And then the Bible continued to tell us that he has given us the gift of love and then the gift of sound mind. You know, when you have sound mind, you can be able to do anything because your, your mind is in the right position. You are not fearing anything. And this uh, Bible verse is really encouraging us that we should not fear anything. So which are, these, which are some of the, these gifts that God has given us? So one, 
God has given us the spirit of praying. You know, when we pray to God, this is a this is a gift that God has given us. And then we are supposed to put this to put into practice this gift of praying. You are supposed to pray more times as possible. Because when you pray, you are using this gift properly. Because when God gives you something, he is expecting you to use that gift in the right way. So we should always pray because this is a gift that God has given us. Another gift that God has given us is the gift of praying and worshiping him. You know, when we praise and worship him, God lo loves it and it is a gift from him. And we should always utilize this gift in a proper way. Then there is another gift that God has given us, the gift of helping others. For example, in our country, in your, uh, maybe in your neighborhood, in your house, there are people who need your help. There are people who are less fortunate. They need food, they need clothing, and you, you have all these things. So when you share to them, when you help them, this is a gift from God, and God is, God is going to reward you when you do that. Another gift that God has given us is the gift of reading the Bible. You know, when we read the word of God, God is always happy with us. And then we grow more. We grow to know God more. And through this, God gets to reward us. And when we read the Bible, we are able to overcome even fear. Because even when you go through troubles, when you go, maybe when you face difficulties in life, you are able to use the word of God. And through the word of God, God gives you victory. So we should use this gift properly, the gift of reading his word. Another gift that God has given us is the gift of loving him. We should love our God with all our hearts. When we love our God, he is happy. You know, God says that you should even love your neighbors more than you love yourself. So when we, th this is a gift that God has given us, the gift of loving him and the gift of loving other people. How do we love other people? We love other people by expressing love to them. For example, if you meet someone who is needy, if you meet someone on the road, even someone that you don't know who needs your help, you don't just leave them, you help them. And this is a gift that God has given us. And that's why we are being told that we should start up our gift. We should have the desire to use this gift. So children, today, I would like to tell you that you should know that God give us power to overcome fear. This is a gift that God has given us, the gift of power. We said when we have the Holy Spirit, we have the power. And God has given us the spirit of power to overcome fear. Another thing, we should know that, God, that through serving, uh, serving God, it's a gift itself. And we, have, we know uh, different ways of serving God. Serving God is by loving him, by loving other people, helping others, worshiping him, reading his Bible, praying to him. So we should know that serving God is a gift from him. Another thing that we should know is that God is our protector in good times and in bad times. You know, sometimes in life we face challenges, we go through bad times. For example, we are sick. We don't have the things that we want. Maybe you are, you, you are telling your mom to buy for you something. They say they don't have money. And sometimes we, we tend to think, oh, is really God watching us? Is, does really God love us? So we should know that God is still God all the times, in good times and in bad times, that God is our protector. Even when we are sick, God is the one who is protecting us. Even when we are in school and we are not performing well, we should always remember that God is our protector and he loves us. Even when we are lacking maybe the basic needs that we want, we should always remember that God has seen us through and he is our protector. So another thing that we should know that God does not give us the spirit of fear. God give us the spirit to overcome everything. He does not give us a spirit of fear. So you should not fear anything because through God, we conquer everything. Through God, we, we can, the, through the spirit of God, we can move mountains. Through the spirit of God, we can calm the storms in our lives. 
storms are many which come, storms are so many, maybe for example at this time, people are facing difficult times, some people they don't have jobs, maybe even your parents at home they, they don't have jobs, always remember to pray and tell God to remember them. So another thing uh, that we should know, things that can make us not to serve God. So which are some of these things that can make us not to serve our God? So one thing is lack of love for other people. You know, we should always love other people. When we don't love other people, we are denying us an opportunity to serve God because it is an obligation that we should serve others. Then another thing, fail to, failing to read the word of God. So we should read the word of God as many times as possible. If you don't know how to read the Bible for those small children, you can tell your parent like every day to read for you the word of God. And through this, we are serving God. Another thing, fail to keep our eyes on the reward. You know, God has given us so many things. God has blessed us. We cannot be able to count the blessings. So if we don't see the reward that God has given us, we are not serving him. So we should always remember to thank God and to see the rewards that he has given us and to, uh, and to exhort him because of what he has done for us. Another thing that can make, us, can, can make us not to serve God is fail to pray. We are being told that we should pray as many times as possible. So when you don't pray, you are not serving God. So we should always remember to pray for ourselves and to pray for others because through prayers, we are serving God. So children, uh, today's memory verse still will come from the book that we have read in 2 Timothy 1, verse 6 to 7. And you can practice this memory verse with your parents at home. And the memory verse says this, therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying of my hands for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of sound mind. So today I want you to remember one thing that God has not given us the spirit of fear but he has given us the spirit of power, the spirit of love and the spirit of sound mind. So children, we should always remember to use the gifts that God has given us well. And when we do this, God will definitely bless us and reward us with so many things. So I hope we have learned and I know you have enjoyed. And I want to urge you, continue being good children and God will bless you. So for now, goodbye until we meet next time. So. Before we conclude, I want us to say a word of prayer. So thank you, God, because of the word that you have taught us today, that we should stir up our gifts. You have given us so many gifts, and we should know how to use these gifts properly. And we should not fear anything, because you have given us the spirit of power, the spirit of love, and the spirit of sound mind. So we as young children, we pray that God, you'll always see us through and you'll always help us to serve you through different things because we are your children and we love you. We ask you to take good care of us and always to bless us. And we pray this trusting in Jesus' name. Amen.